All right, welcome to Quarantunes. <laughs> Thank you, sound effects department. All right, my friends, welcome to our another exciting edition of Quarantunes, where we draw cartoons to help pass the time to get our to flex our creative muscles. Right, fun little art lesson. We just draw a funny character or a silly character. Sometimes we even learn something, don't we? <laughs> All right, today you may learn something. We're going to draw a couple characters that are based on me looking up some of the state symbols again, right? You know, sometimes I like to learn about the states and one way you can learn about different states or even countries, and we'll get to some countries as well down the road. But in, here in the United States, we've got every state usually has like a state mammal or a state bird a state sport, a state flower, wildflower, gem, mineral. So today we're going to uh, visit North Carolina once again. North Carolina has a state reptile called the Eastern Box Turtle. So we're going to draw a turtle and then we're going to draw his little friend or her little friend riding alongside or atop. <laughs> the eastern box turtle lives in the woods. Okay, so the, the turtle, we're going to draw them big on the page. So let's see, for the shell, obviously we need kind of a big circle shape to start to make that shell, right? You notice with my pencil, I go around lightly many times until I get that shape that I'm happy with. All right, and then I'll make the shape of the shell. At the bottom of the shell, we want to do this. It's almost like an S curve. All right. And if I take away and normally I don't erase till the end, but maybe this will be easier for you to see that line. If I take those lines away, that's going to be the shell shape. Okay. Now it's going to have a neck that comes up. Maybe we don't need it that long. And the head of the character will be here. I'm going to draw a nice big head. Again, kind of an oval shape, an oval shape. All right. The neck will come up like this. And I think the, the head is more square or flat on the top. So instead of using that top rounded piece, we're going to kind of flatten off the top of the head and we're going to come down off of that oval. And from what I understand, they have kind of a hook at the end. I imagine that's maybe to help them pick berries, right? Because they're making blueberry pie at home. They need to pick the berry. <laughs> I love me some blueberry pie. Mm -hmm. Or as my grandfather used to call it, huckleberry pie. Although I guess there are two different, there are two different berries, huckleberry and blueberry, but huckleberry just sounds more appetizing to me. Okay, so we give that little sharp hook there for picking the huckleberries off the bushes. Okay, the neck is going to come down here. Just bring it to help form the bottom of the eastern box turtle. The legs. Okay, let's just do this for now. A uh, couple elbow macaronis, I think. Yeah, I want to I want to go ahead and change that just a little. Bring this out a little further. Okay, legs, elbow macaroni, short, and back here, elbow macaroni. And let's see, a little padded kind of a foot. The other side, you might see just a little bit of it. And on this side, Again, you could just put an oval there and use that. The other side, we won't really see, I don't think. Little tail coming off the back. They have a little tail. All right. And at the bottom of the shell, let's go ahead and kind of mimic the shell with a line that matches that. And I know it's getting messy in here. That's why I'm trying to help you out by erasing some of these lines. When I'm drawing, I, I can see better. 
than you can with my camera. So that's why I'm kind of trying to erase some of these lines. It's just got kind of a border along its shell like this. And then from the pictures I saw, it just got random squiggly lines. It's really not, you know, sometimes they have little, you, you see a symmetrical pattern. I did not see symmetrical patterns so much. I saw random rounded off, just random like this. So that would be an opportunity for you to just kind of go to town and pick the shapes that you want to make part of the pattern. That would be fun. Like right there, it looks like a splotch of grape jelly. <laughs> All right, the eyeball, let's give him an We'll just give them one eyeball. Sometimes I draw two, but let's be more um, realistic, I suppose, and draw just one eye on this side. He's very happy. He's looking. Maybe he's going to get some blueberry pie, Eastern box turtle. And he's, if he's a box turtle, maybe he's standing on a box. So straight line, straight line, straight line, and straight line. It's a box. Yep, he's standing on a box. Eastern box turtle. <laughs> right? Of course. All right, let's see here. Mm -hmm. And sitting on top is his friends. Uh, another mascot or symbol from the state of North Carolina. Here, a flat oval. We're going to make a vase. So a flat oval, two curved lines come out here, maybe make like a, an oval there to give us the shape of a vase that would be resting, sitting on the top of a shell. I don't know how he's balancing that, but it must be good. All right, so that's going to be a vase with a flower coming out of it, right? So <clears throat> the state flower is the blossom from a dogwood tree. So it's the flowering dogwood. Now I'm not going to put a whole tree in here, but I'm going to put like the blossom or the flower. I don't know if they have these long stems, but I'm using my creative license to do so. <laughs> so we have a stem then we'll put a flower at the end. So the flower is going to have, put an oval there for the middle of the flower. It's a dogwood. So we're going to make a dog face on the flower. <laughs> my pencil hit that. I got so excited. Okay, so we got a dog face. What we want to do is make a dog nose, two little eyes, come down and make a smile to make the dog. And the dog will have ears. So do this. That looks more like a rabbit ear. Let's make it more like a dog ear. And that's, that's easy to do. What we want to do is maybe more triangle shape. That's what we need right there. It comes up and goes triangle shape. And then here we have other little petals and then a big petal out here, which is his body <laughs> with a tail wagging. <laughs> That's pretty wacky. A flowering dogwood. Okay, we'll start to ink that. So there's the Eastern Box Turtle traveling around with his friend, the flowering dogwood. <laughs> I'm going to start inking at the top and work, work my way down so I don't hopefully smudge my work. Face of the dog. Maybe even put some dots here, like little. Okay, petals. And his tail. <laughs> and a vase, which somehow just miraculously stays balanced on the back of the, of course, turtles don't move that fast. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe 
it's not going to tip over anyway, right? All right, here we go. The shell of the turtle. The tail. And the head and neck. You know, maybe some shadow here because we've got legs kind of sticking out from under the shell. This one's got more of a shadow because it's way over there behind the body. Here we go with this one. Shadow. I imagine there's some different colored splotchiness when you color you can go to color that in all right different shapes and again this is going to be different from everyone I'm just for everyone I'm just making random because again I looked at pictures if you go on with mom or dad and look at pictures of this the real eastern box turtle you'll see it's really random how these shapes, they don't look alike if you look at several different turtle pictures. The only thing I did notice, at least on the picture I looked at, was that this line did kind of come here and follow the shape of the edge of the shell. And then it did appear, at least the one picture I saw, that it was kind of divided up into these sections at the bottom. Right? Let's maybe make some shadow here. Next, peeking out. All right. Let's go over here and finish his head, although I think I want to grab this marker here. Look at that. Eastern box turtle. Nice. Turn this a little bit like this. All right, and the pupil. Little reflection in the corner. All right. There we go. How about this? Inside the mouth, just darken it up a little bit so we can see inside a little bit there. All right, and he's on the box. We can draw the box. I don't know why Eastern box turtles like to be on a box. <laughs> they probably don't, Mr. Dave. You're probably mixing up the reason they call it a box turtle. All right, so we've got our fun little dogwood blossom up here. It's a dog as a flower. That's pretty fun. We'll go ahead and erase all of our simple shapes that we used to get our character. Hey, how did yours come out? I'll bet it came out really cool. The Eastern Box Turtle. With these wacky, random shapes on its shell. Kind of a piece of artwork in itself, right? That shell. And so when you colored it, you could turn that into a piece of art. Just You could make different colors of all of these different shapes. That would be nice and unique, wouldn't it? Sure. Mm, looks like I erased too soon. See, when I erase too soon, I get some smearing of ink. I get a little bit. I move too fast sometimes. Most of these ink pens dry pretty fast. But some of them have more ink 
that they lay down and it takes longer for it to dry. All right, look at that. Hey, cool. Let's put a maybe a little horizon line back there with some grass growing. Like that. Maybe put our cloud in the sky. Like that. Cloud. And we could even do some. Just to put your pen down and make some squiggly lines. This would be a tree line way in the background. So nothing to define. Just trees in the background. Squiggly tree line. Look at that. The Eastern Box Turtle. State Reptile of North Carolina. State Flower, the Flowering Dogwood. Awesome, it's the blossom. We've turned it into the into a dog. I hope you had fun drawing today with me. That was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Can't wait to color it. Hey, until next time, uh, be safe, stay well, and take care of one another, please. All right. Bye-bye now.